I'm Oliver Hartwig and I'm the Executive Director of the New Zealand Initiative. My role at the New Zealand Initiative is to build a think tank for New Zealand. We started almost three years ago bringing together two previous organisations and my task has been to bring these two organisations with the different cultures, with the different members together, hire staff and build a credible research programme for New Zealand. Our members should see that they are supporting a credible organisation that is making a positive contribution for New Zealand for the long run. This is not something I always explain to our members that will improve next year's bottom line for you. It is something that you are supporting because you see it as a positive investment in New Zealand's future. And this is a future that will be good for everybody, including your company, but not just your company. This is something we're doing for the whole of the country. Uh, my name is Neil Pavia-Smith. So I'm the Chief Executive of Forsyth Bar. Yes. Forsyth Bar has been in operation for about coming up 80 years and principally we've probably been known as a share-breaking firm over all of that time but in more recent times our activities have expanded broadly into private wealth uh, services, uh, institutional broking, investment banking and so on. So effectively providing New Zealanders big and small with investment advice and investment management services. Well, Forsyth Bar became a member of the New Zealand Initiative uh, three or four years ago because uh, our organisation as a New Zealand firm uh, thought it was important to effectively make a contribution to the ideas, generation of ideas, um, the New Zealand Initiative as a think tank organisation. Um, it's important that companies are contributing in some way to the debate around important issues that affect the country. If we look at the future in terms of how we might see Forsyth Bar and New Zealand Initiative aligned, um, I think hopefully the New Zealand Initiative will continue to be able to build up its uh, presence in the uh, general uh, debate around, uh, be that the political scene, the broader public uh, through media and other channels, uh, and. Uh, continue to uh, use evidence and research to inform uh, the debate. And I think that's what uh, I'm most uh, attracted to by the initiative is that it's not just trying to push a particular angle. It may be perceived as such from time to time, but uh, so long as it can stay true to the core of, of using research and analysis and evidence to inform debate and hopefully have some influence that changes things for the better, uh, then that's a good thing. And I think. Uh, if it can sustain over the long run um, and we can see the, the benefits of those changes, certainly I think from a Forsyth Bar point of view whose business is predominantly in New Zealand and our, our fortunes as a firm, uh, ongoing prosperity for our firm and our staff as it's aligned to the country performing well and uh, progressing so you know, there's a general alignment of interests there. My name is Malcolm Alexander, I'm the Chief Executive of Local Government New Zealand. Local Government New Zealand, um, as I say, represents the um, interests and views of all the local authorities, whether they're a small territorial authority um, or a large regional council. So the scale of our membership goes from Auckland Council with one and a half million people through to the Chatham Islands with 650 and all that's between. So from Kaitaia to the Bluff and out to the Chathams. Ultimately our vision is local democracy powering community and national uh, success. Uh, our relationship with uh, uh, the New Zealand Initiative encompasses a number of different levels. First of all we, we're partners on some um, policy issues and debates. On others we, um, we have different perspectives on things but again it's all about a constructive debate around the issues. I mean, I've probably it's fair to say though some people may be surprised to hear this that actually we both want a prosperous and successful New Zealand and it's really what started our relationship when um, we saw the, the work that the Institute was doing. I made an approach to Oliver um, we started having a debate about some really tricky issues and but it was a debate about the issue and not about the people. What the initiative's been able to do is bring that and, and sort of depart from that but still have the challenging uh, uh, ideas uh, still setting, uh, pushing the envelope in terms of how we should do things, but in a way that's quite markedly different. They bring people with them, they engage in a way that people can see um, that the idea may have merit, even if I don't agree with it, but let's debate it. And for, they've managed to change the temperature and change the approach without in any way taking away from the substance of the arguments and you know there's no point in making an argument if people aren't picking the phone up or opening the door. People are picking the phone up and opening the door for the New Zealand Initiative I mean, so I personally think they're doing a wonderful job in that regard. I want more people to engage with the organisation, that's my number one short term goal and that can happen in a variety of different ways. 
Of course, I would like to see more members, more member firms join the organization and actually sign up to our values. But I also want to reach out a bit wider. I want more people to read our articles, subscribe to our newsletters, come to our events, and just join us in developing the ideas that will make this country better.